Hey everyone and welcome to this short lesson where we're going to compare the angle side angle and angle angle side triangle congruence theorems. So we can start with a quick recap of the angle side angle theorem. If two triangles are congruent by angle side angle then we have a congruent angle as well as a congruent side and another congruent angle in both triangles. Now again, notice that for angle side angle, the side is in between in the middle of the two angles. And now by completing the triangle using those two angles, we can see why the angle side angle theorem would prove that two triangles are congruent. Now for the angle angle side triangle congruence theorem, we still have two angles and one side. It's just the order that's going to change. So in both triangles, we have one congruent angle and then another congruent angle. And then our congruent side is after those two consecutive angles here. So we have two angles in a row and then a side next to them. And so now by completing this triangle, we can see why the angle angle side theorem proves that two triangles are congruent. Now, since these two theorems are so similar, it's a very common mistake for students to mix them up. Both theorems contain two congruent angles as well as one congruent side. Angle side angle has two congruent angles with the side in between those angles, just like it's written, the S is in between the two A's. Angle angle side has two congruent angles, but in this case they are consecutive and the side comes after them. So we have two congruent angles in a row and then a side. So take a second to visualize this so you don't confuse these two theorems. Again, they both have two angles in one side, but it's the location of the side that will help you to determine which theorem to use. See ya! <laughs> Thanks a lot guys for checking us out and please follow us on Instagram at MashupMath for daily math tips, animated flashcards, and our math in sports infographics. Check it out! <laughs>